What? What did you say? I said because I'm bad at it. You're bad at what? We're going to multiple takes. We're not going to do multiple. We're going to do it first time. Okay. All right. Is this it? This is it. Oh. Yeah. It's really simple. It's not live. All right. No, it's not. Okay. No, it's all on card. Look. Ooh. Okay. You need to look. See the... Don't look at the screen. Okay. See the lens? Say, hey, everybody. Okay. So, um, my friend Danielle came over and what are you making? We're going to make three different kinds of banana pudding. Three in one video? Yes, because we need to know which one's best. Okay. Because we have a food truck launching. That we can't tell anything about yet. We can't tell you about it. Um, and everyone thought my grandmother's was the best, but she died. So right. now it's okay for us to tell you that mine's the best. Oh, oh, okay. She's calling it out. It is. All right. So, and then my family's going to try it and we get to all talk about which one we think is the best. Yes. And we're throwing in a Texas banana pudding just for competition's sake. Because you're from Texas. Yeah, why not? All right. Okay, so come on in close and we'll show what we got. Okay, we're going to make the whipped cream first because I like to let it chill. So I'm going to use all of the heavy cream. I'm going to feel the vanilla, maybe that much. What do we think that was? A teaspoon? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do the powdered sugar. And also, we're just going to feel it. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's done. And you see that it's really firm and it holds itself in place. Okay, next we're going to make the pudding, which is just two of the large boxes of vanilla pudding and six cups of milk. And this is whole milk. Okay, these next two ingredients, the cream cheese and the condensed milk, specifically Eagles brand, are part of my grandmother's recipe. Um, and all the recipes are gonna be below, but this is gonna be for that um, third banana pudding of hers. Okay, I'm putting in the cream cheese, which should be a little softened from sitting out now, which is good. And I'm gonna mix it with the entire can of Eagles brand until it's smooth. I'm gonna blend this until it's completely smooth. But that's not the way I like it. I like it when there's little teeny tiny chunks of cream cheese still in there, but that's technically incorrect. <laughs> okay, and that's what it should look like really nice and smooth. Okay, so what I'm gonna do before I start plating, and this is the last step, super easy, is I'm gonna mix our um, condensed milk and cream cheese mixture with banana pudding. If you were just making this one banana pudding, you would do the condensed milk, the cream cheese, and one large package of vanilla pudding. But since I'm making more than that, um, I'm just gonna take about half of my mixture. This one, my grandmother's recipe has to be refrigerated because we let that cream cheese soften so much, the other two don't. We're gonna plate my banana pudding recipe and the Texas banana pudding recipe and really the only difference is that the Texas one uses Nutter Butters instead of vanilla wafers. Okay. okay, so she's laying it right now and the Texas one has Nutter Butter on the bottom, right? Yes. And these, I love these. And this one has these on the bottom. Yes, vanilla wafers. Awesome. They are okay. called. Uh, vanilla. <laughs> no, they're called Nilla wafers. Are they really? It's not vanilla. Well, <laughs> the flavoring is Look, vanilla. Nilla. Is it really? Nilla. When did that happen? The, trust me. I've been corrected because <laughs> I used to say it vanilla. They're Nella wafers. Well, you know. All right. Anyway, I'm going to eat this one. I support your dreams. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. So I like to do cookie, pudding, whipped cream, and then banana. Okay. Okay. So yours isn't really yours. It's... I think it's, it's the all normal, of America's. Yeah. It's, a, it's the basic. If God ate banana pudding, it would be that one. And that's your favorite. I'm telling you. Yes. All right. So, I'm not saying these other ones with the Nutter Butters and the condensed milk aren't exciting. I'm just saying they're not. How can you go wrong with peanut butter? I mean, you, you oh, can only make it better. It's going to be exciting and it's going to be delicious. But I think if we're saying like the overall banana pudding that you could eat over and over and over again, I think it's the classic one. My buddy Brad is off to the side. What did you say, Brad? I said peanut butter and bananas. I know. Peanut butter and bananas. And that's like Elvis right there. That is totally Elvis. El You're right. Elvis, Elvis died. He died. Guys. Yeah, but he didn't die eating Nutter Butters. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> no, he was in the bathroom. <laughs> Mimi was an awesome lady and she, we would have cousin camp. And she would assign two cousins, there were 13 of us, um, to clean up and prep duty in the kitchen. 
And she was probably most famous for her dirt cake, but there's really not any variations of that. What's dirt cake? Dirt cake is also a pudding dessert. And I wonder, are pudding desserts really popular just in the South? Um, just, it's a, just in the South. It's a chocolate pudding dessert with Oreo cookies crushed up. And so it looks like dirt on top. Oh, okay. And some people serve it with gummy worms to kind of, but that's too cutesy for us because you wouldn't want to eat a gummy worm with chocolate pudding. No, okay. All right, so, um, so we'll bring you back for a dirt cake? Y'all want to make a dirt cake? Yeah, not today. Though. We'll make a dirt cake. All right, cool. That is a lot of banana pudding. Yes, yeah. it is. Okay, so I'm I'm double dipping. I'm using one spoon. No, no, you can't because the thing is, is I'm triple dipping. dipping. You're gonna get. You're gonna taste different things. You don't want to contaminate. You, you can Are you even? You're not even in the video. Get okay. over here. You gotta get, get in the video. Some of this is going home to other people, so don't make a mess. Yeah, we oh, send yeah. it to other families. Okay. okay. We're keeping the nutter butter one. Everyone right. has three spoons. Okay. All right, so we're all gonna try <laughs> the original first. Yes. So I'm gonna go first. Come over here. Okay. So Danielle's is really, really good, really light. So if you want nothing heavy, go Danielle's great flavor. Mimi's is really thick because it's got cream cheese, but that's got a lot of flavor too. This one, the, the Texas one, right? Mm -hmm. Texas has amazing flavor, and you can really taste the peanut butter. So they're all good, just depending upon what you want. Wait, but your which, favorite which is? Which one did you like? I like them all. I'm not no, no, you have to pick one. Uh -huh. You gotta pick one. There's it don't no work. Come here. on, we got a few minutes. Okay, I'll do Mimi's. <gasps> all right. Sorry. Traitor. Brad? Mimi's. Mimi's? You don't even have to think about it? No. All right, think about it. I'm gonna tell you that I forgot how good Mimi's was. I haven't had it in a while. It was delicious. But I still vote for, I mean, um, if you're you having it. You vote for yours? I, I mean, if you're brave enough to make it, you should vote for yourself. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's no, right. it's good. It's, All right. it's very light. You got to always back is yourself. Is your vote, is your vote for and you? And mine's mine. Okay, Mimi's. All right, that was easy. Here we go. What's yours? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Have a good old day. Hurry up. People are watching. Oh, you like, like the Texas like one? I like the T. Yes, Texas. man. Well, All right, guys. I would I'd, choose that over Mimi's, though. I just want to. I, I just want to thank Danielle. Let's all say thank you, Danielle. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you, Danielle. You're welcome, guys. All right, recipes down below, guys. We love you. Say goodbye, everybody. Rest in peace, Mimi. Bye. Mimi's. Bye.